Guys, Rusty's gonna show us his collection of base set booster boxes and the different identifiers and variants of each. Okay. Um, so we start with this one. It says made in UK. So the easiest way to tell is on the bottom. <clears throat> it actually says made in UK. All right. Wow, we're off to a good start. Okay. <laughs> but if you, if you couldn't see the bottom, you could tell that it was either made in UK or made in Australia because of this it has curved logos curved logos okay. on the wrap okay curved logos and it also has 1999 2000 on the bottom which is 2000. unique to three different variants okay. uk australian and then there's also a u.s version so this actually has a u initial on the bottom but it's going to say made in australia it's also going to have the curved logos you see where it says it right there but yep. it says 1999 2000 on the bottom yeah and something else that's different is so if you look at like this one say here and these look at the seals you got the international seal and you got the u.s seal and then also the wizard print is actually different oh yeah so curved and then square just like on the wrap okay so that's australian that's uk right here black triangle personally opened that means that inside of here you're going to have 36 black triangle packs but all 36 came from this box so like this was not a constructed box there should be 12 heavies inside and big old black, black triangle the black triangle is to cover up a first edition stamp that was accidentally printed onto the base set packs and what does black triangle mean if they tried covering it up <laughs> the cards inside though are they are they shadowless first edition unlimited Correct. These are, I guess I should have went into that. So the reason they cut up or covered up is because the cards are not first edition. It's just regular shadowed unlimited. Okay. And then the other uh, black triangle, this one says it was assembled because I wanted to have a full box of black triangle. So initially I was just buying them up. But what's cool is some of these, you can actually see the first edition stamp where they missed the black triangle. So oh, wow. That's kind of crazy. Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. But if you open one of these packs, they're not going to be first edition. They'll just be unlimited, not shadowless? Correct. Okay. All right, what do we have here? Okay, so this is the English 1999-2000 print. And the easiest way to tell is on the bottom, you're only going to have one location. And then you're going to have the, the blue wing Charizard. But it actually says 1999 on the side. Yeah. So the only, way, the only way that you can tell that this right here is 1999 2000 is if you compare this to say yeah so this is a regular blue wing multiple locations this is the most common version see it has the multiple locations yep it just has the one gotcha so you know this one's going to be 1999 2000 whereas this one will not so like this is the most common version. You got straight logos, you got the blue wing Charizard, all the locations on the bottom made in USA. And then on the side, you're gonna have 1999. Gotcha. All right, what do we have here? All right, so this is gonna have green wing Charizard on the side. This is gonna be your more common um, green wing Charizard. It's kind of like the common blue wing one. It's gonna have multiple locations. If you dip down this right here, you're going to be able to tell that it has short cramp packs inside as well as it doesn't even matter because you can see part of the red logo there which means there are not shadowless packs on the inside okay you just peek through the mm -hmm. cut there okay so this is your most common green wing box 
Now this is gonna be the same as this one right here. These are the versions right now that are circulating on the market that are pretty close to the Blue Wing uh, multiple locations box. And that's only because a lot of these have been coming out. One way that you can tell these from these right off the bat without even looking at anything other than the top, if you look in this corner right here, it's already going to be more saturated on this side. You can see the darker lines, but there's a green. There's oh, a double, way. Yeah, it's very obvious, actually. There's a double green dot right there. See that little green dot beside the, the leaf? I see it. Oh, yeah, there it is. You can see it on camera. But it's not going to be over here. That's one way to know for sure if you're looking at it. Even who if the, who the discovered right. those two little green dots? I'm sure other people That's, know about yeah. it. Would that be in every single box from this version? Yeah. That I've never seen, yeah. All right, so this is your Green Wings one location. So that just means on the bottom, you've got the one location, nothing up top, versus you know these, where you've got the multiple locations. Now these usually have a better shot at having shadowless packs inside. You can tell by peeking in, but if you look at this right there, you yep. can see the red logo. So this is not going to be a shadowless box again. Gotcha. The seal on that one feels kind of funny. This is another Green Wing multiple locations. This is the one that was in my personal collection. It's the same as those two. I just recently picked those up. I believe it's the same as this one as well. Yeah. So now you can look at this one here. This is another Green Wings on the side, but it has one location. So again, we want to check inside to see if there's a red logo at the top. And if you look right there, there is no red logo, which means that it's going to be at the bottom. So this is going to be the tradable game card. So you're going to have shadowless packs in Ooh, here. Okay. Now, you don't know that the cards inside are shadowless because if you look in at the top at the crimps, the crimps are short. Okay. With the short crimp, that means that the cards inside the packs, even though the pack wrapper itself is going to be shadowless, the cards inside might not be shadowless themselves. But they also might be. They could be. They're most likely going to be, but you don't know for sure. Okay. All right, and then the last one over here, this is your best chance of having long crimp shadowless. There are no logos anywhere on the outside of the box. You've got one location on the bottom, Green Wing Charizard. You can tell that there's no red logo up top. And then if you if you get in there, you can actually see that the silver is longer, so that's gonna be long crimp. Okay. Long crimp, shadowless packs means that the cards are guaranteed shadowless as far as we've ever seen. So of all these boxes on the table, is this the most desirable, most valuable box? Or yes, which, by far. That one. By far this one. That one, yeah. All right. And that then one can, and then, then this one. Then that one, okay. Can you show me the gold seal starter decks? This is... So this is something that old school Pokemon he's, a, he's an expert in. But if you look at these decks, they've got the gold strip along the side, which as far as we've ever seen, these have always contained shadowless cards inside. Wow. So the decks are guaranteed shadowless. So now, shadowless starter decks. Now there, there has been um, other style decks that have only had shadowless out of them, but gold strip is the one that people know the most of. And they've all, the other ones have always been individually wrapped in a different way. That is insane. Rusty, thank you. That was amazing. Thank you very much. Charlie. Let me see that. The one, two, three, four, right? Those are kind of oh, rare. Oh, there's the four. Kind of rare. <laughs> to say the least. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, the first one they graded. Are you intimidated by these, Gary? These might be rich for your blood. Yeah. They're more expensive than some But it's not like unique art. Like, where is this? Yeah, yeah. I, I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. I don't disagree, but that is pretty unique. And I think that's the. I think that's the. Like even the energy's out in the samples from 2002. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I just think it's because it was a special release. Plus, it is a special release. It kind of came out at a time when everyone was still kind of super high on everything. Like, so that kind of it's like self pumping prophecy, right? <laughs> I think everybody else agrees with that logic. I'll take a picture if you want to post it. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm taking a picture and post it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's so cool. I sold it to him. You got to hold it. You're holding it away like you're just going to buy it. Am I going to hold it? It's got cooties. Oh, my gosh. Show me the love, eh? Who's your favorite Pokemon? Yeah.